As soon as you become an eHedge member, you get access to all the eHedge guideline documents, a collection of 50 plus guidelines that really describe in detail how you should engineer, integrate, apply, use hygienic engineering and design equipment in food processing environments. And one of the main contributors to these guidelines is academia, scientists that uh, do their own research in their own scientific institutions. Uh, with us today is a representative of that academia group. Welcome, Dr. Felix Schotroff at the Boku Institute in Vienna. Great to have you with us today. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. Thanks for the invitation. I'm happy to be here and to have this interview with you. Could you tell us what your daily work as a scientist, a researcher entails? What kind of research are you conducting? So I'm conducting research in the field of food preservation by thermal and non-thermal technologies, focusing on a yeah, holistic approach, going all the way from mechanistic studies, so how the different technologies affect microbial cells, for example, how the mechanism of action is uh, taking place, all the way to application studies where we do feasibility and trials and um, see how the influence on the product and on the matrix are, all the way to optimization and design of equipment. Yes, and Boku really has the means and the space and the facilities to test those different types of equipment. Uh, let's have a look at the images here. What do we see? What you can see here is the food technology pilot plant, um, which uh, belongs to the core facility food and bioprocessing of the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences, or short BOKU, here in uh, beautiful Vienna in Austria. And um, our pilot plant has an infrastructure with over 300 square meters. And in the pilot plant, we um, have the um, opportunity to have um, most unit operations relevant for food applications. Well, it looks impressive. What can you do there? Um, basically, what we can do is we can mimic food processing technologies on a semi-industrial or a pilot plant scale. And um, some of our equipment or like our, our scopes include drying and formulation, for example, spray drying and freeze drying, but we also have a pilot scale extruder, for example. And uh, another big focus of ours is uh, preservation and inactivation of microorganisms. And we here we have uh, different thermal and non-thermal technologies available um, in on a pilot scale. Also, we have a laboratory infrastructure available um, where we can evaluate quality, texture, sensorial attributes, but also the microbial status of uh, different food products. So a lot of expertise and equipment at that site present and you're doing scientific research, but very dedicated, practical oriented. Who are your customers? Um, so the focus of our core facility is basically both Boku internal as well as Boku external, so non-Boku people. Basically for the internal people, for the internal um, researchers, we um, do, for example, also more basic research studies. Um, related, for example, to the mechanisms of action of certain technologies and how they influence the product. For the external customers, which are mostly um, industry um, clients, here we focus very much on application studies, on feasibility studies, um, which we, which we can, where basically we can produce foods from the raw material to the fi um, final uh, packaged and preserved product. You, as such, offer your facility to stakeholders within the food industry uh, who want to maybe uh, innovate, right? We aim very much to um, provide our infrastructure and our knowledge, especially covering all the equipment in the pilot plant on the pilot scale to internal but also to external clients. Everyone is welcome to conduct experiments with us. And um, we, of course, are very happy to share our expertise and our experience um, in the field of food processing. Most of our viewers are familiar with research and development processes, and then they like to talk about uh, ETM, estimated time to market. Um, can we also apply that to your kind of work? I mean, you're doing foundational research, but also applied research. So is there an ETM for your research activities? Yeah, in my experience, uh, this depends a little on the type of research, especially more basic and mechanistic information takes longer time before it's implemented in the industry. However, such 
insights are also crucial in order to better understand the technologies and their effects on the products. On the other hand, we also conduct a lot of applied research where different companies are involved in a pre-competitive way. Here, the focus is more on the actual problems and the actual issues that arise during typical use cases in the food industry. And uh, since in this case, the studies are directly designed to solve such issues, the results are usually taken up by the industry quite quickly and quite happily. And as such, we, of course, can contribute to provide a database for future um, e-hedge guidelines and similar um, recommendations on hygienic processing. Dr. Schotroff, more and more e-hedge company members, particularly food processing companies, are interested to find out more about the supposed correlation between hygienic design and not only food safety, but also uh, consistent food quality, productivity, and even sustainability. Uh, what's your view on those uh, correlations? I think in the end, everything is connected. When you can produce safely according to the standards of hygienic design and hygienic production, you have the, the fundamentals and the basis to also improve the product quality, um, not just from a microbiological side, but if you master your process, you can at the end also improve the or optimize the, the, the processing conditions you use and therefore also improve the, the product quality uh, in the end. And same is with sustainability. If you master your process, if you master um, and optimize your processes, it will automatically be more sustainable considering, for example, use of energy, but also, for example, um, reduction of cleaning times or reduction of the necessity to use chemical agents for cleaning. All of these um, factors act together to improve the overall and to optimize the overall situation of food processing. Last but not least, uh, what were your main considerations to become an e -Hedge member and to stay and even become active within this community? I'm an e -Hedge member for several years now, also active in the regional section Austria of e -Hedge, And I have made a lot of very good and very positive um, experience over the years. We as scientists, we work in our pilot uh, facility, we work in our laboratories, but for us, it's very interesting and very crucial to get to know the actual challenges that arise in the food industry and how they are dealt with, where are open points that need further research and the like. So the communication with the industry partners is very crucial. And this is, um, and this, for this, eHedge provides a very nice access. Also, this enables me to share my knowledge with my students and share the knowledge on, of hygienic processing and hygienic design um, in order to improve the next generation of food technologies and help to spread the word to bring this information then also into the food industry in the future. You're right. We have to spread the word. Hygienic design is invaluable if you want to improve food safety, quality, productivity and sustainability. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you very much. Thank you.